All right, ladies and gentlemen, time for a little review on how to graph some functions. Uh, there are a lot of different kinds of functions you need to be able to graph. Uh, hopefully from previous years, you're pretty good at lines. The main ones we're going to focus on, uh, the ones we did focus on this year, are these kind of graphs. There's absolute value, uh, which these, these are the, uh, the base models. The way we were graphing them was uh, you take the base one and then you change it based on what the function says. So if all you have is the absolute value of x, it's just, it's like two different lines that meet at the origin here. Uh, and they both have slopes of 1 and negative 1. Uh, this is the base quadratic one. Uh, the vertex of our quadratic here is at 0, 0, or the origin. And then as you go along one side here, the slopes uh, between our points uh, go one right it goes up one right one and then the next one it goes up three right one and the next one's going to go up five right one and the next one's going to go up seven right one uh, and it kind of has this and it does the the same thing on the other side uh, and then the square root function is just like the quadratic one if you were to turn it 90 degrees clockwise uh, and then only you know draw the top half of it um, it still has the origin there as your, your quote-unquote vertex, and then you got slope here of 1. Uh, and then the next one, uh, the slope is going to be 1 third as it goes up 1, right 3. The next one is going to go up 1 and right 5. So it's a lot like these, just on its side. Uh, and then the last one is the cube root function. Uh, again, the vertex is, the quote-unquote vertex here is at the origin. Uh, and instead of going up by squared numbers, uh, it's cubing the numbers, so it goes up by 1 here, uh, and then 2 cubed is 8, so this one's going to jump up here, so it's going to go up 1 and then write 7, because going from 1 to 8 is adding 7. Uh, and so there's, and it does the same thing here on the bottom side, um, you know, just just opposite. It's just something you got to memorize how the, the cubic function is going to go. Same with all of these. You just got to memorize what the basic one is, and then there's some rules you can follow to draw new ones. Uh, and here are the rules, the transformations that can happen. So if you got your basic function, and you put a number in front, uh, it's going to do, do a few things. If that number is bigger than one, it's going to make all the slopes uh, times by that number. Uh, and if that number is negative, it flips it upside down. Uh, and then inside here, we, we didn't really deal with this B thing, so, so don't worry about this right now. Uh, and then you got X minus H is going to move your vertex to the right H, uh, H units. Uh, so if it says X minus 3, your whole function is going to move right 3. Whereas if it says X plus four inside, it's actually going to move it left four because it's x minus the h value. And then if you have some change outside your, your function, it's going to change it vertically that many units. So if it says plus seven, everything moves up seven. If it says subtract three, it goes down three. And that's the same rules for all those functions we were just looking at. Uh, you start with this and then you move it up, down, left, right, or sometimes you make it steeper if there's a, a number in front. Uh, and so let's do a few examples here. Uh, number one, uh, you do need to remember your, your base function. This is not the one we're going to graph, um, but this is kind of the base one. It goes like this, and on the other side, it just circles around. So that's the basic one. Uh, well, in our function here, we got x minus 2 in our parentheses, so it's going to move it the vertex right 2. And we got plus 2 outside. So that's a k value 2. It's going to move it up 2. So our vertex is here. So we're taking this entire graph and moving right 2 and up 2. Uh, and so here's our new vertex. And then we can go to, to either side and use our slope of 1, then the slope of 3 to get another point, slope of 1, slope of 3. Uh, and you can get your quadratic graph like that. So the red one is the, the one you're supposed to graph. The blue one is the original one. Uh, let's try another one out uh, here on number three. This one's also quadratic. Um, so, you know, usually vertex is at 1, 1, slopes 1, slope 3. You know, it kind of has this, this U shape up here. But uh, the reason it doesn't have the upper part is because it's got a negative 2 out front. Uh, and that's going to flip it upside down. So it's going to look like this. 
But before we actually draw it, let's do the moving parts on it. X minus 2 inside, it's going to move it right to 2. And then minus 4 outside, it's going to move it down 4 here. So there's our vertex. And the negative is going to flip it upside down. So it's going to, start, it's going to look like this. Um, but the 2 is going to make everything twice as steep. So instead of going down 1, right 1, we're going to go down 2, right 1, to get another point. And then normally the next one would be down 3, but it's twice as much, so we're going to go down 6, and then right 1 to get here. Uh, so here's kind of the right half of our graph. You think I can connect the points right? But there you go, right half. And then on the left side, uh, it's a repeat of those, uh, those slopes there. So down 2, left 1, and then down 6, left 1. Uh, let's jump to a new kind of graph. Uh, this one's a square root graph, which you need to remember the basic one uh, has a quote-unquote vertex at the origin, and then up one, right one, up one, right three, and then up one, right five. Um, it kind of has this shape. So that's the original one, but we want to draw the new one. It's got plus one inside, which is going to move our, ver our vertex left one, right here. Uh, and it's got subtract five, and we're going to move it down five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So our new vertex is here, uh, but it still has the same shape. Uh, so we're going to go up one, right one, up th one, right three, and then up one, right five. Uh, and now we got our, our lovely square root graph down here. So the red one's the blue's the original, red's the, the new one, the one you're supposed to graph. Um, this one here is a cube root. So remember here uh, on the original one, uh, your cube roots center there at the origin and it goes up one right one and up one right seven uh because you know it's got these these cubic numbers uh so this is the original one that's not looking great kind of does that switch back there right so that's kind of what the original one looks like kind of it's not that great um but we do have a plus five inside which is going to move it left five over here and then it's got plus two in Outside, it's going to move up to. So here's our new, our new center of our Q root function. So we're going to go up one, right one, and then up one and right four. Sorry, up one, right seven. My bad. I don't know what I'm talking about there. And then down one, left one, and we kind of fall off the graph. So we're looking at this sort of graph. So you're just taking your center left five up to, and you got your new one. Uh, on 11, this is absolute value, which uh, the original absolute value, you got your, your minimum there at the origin, and then slopes of 1 on either side. Those are bad. Oh, that one's good. So I could do a lot better on my slope of 1 there. Uh, so that's the original one. Um, inside here, it's got plus 2, so we're going to go left 2. No, let me do a different color. Uh, left 2. And then the plus three outside there is going to move us up three. Um, but we're not going to just draw our two lines because it's got the negative three out front. And the negative flips it upside down. So it's going to go in like this. Uh, and the three is going to make it three times as steep. So originally the slopes are one. You're going to take the slope of one and times by three. So, uh, oh, times by negative three. So you're going to go down three and right one. And then down three to right one, down three to right one, and then you can go the other way, down three left one, down three left one, down three left one, and you get this, this pretty steep V shape here. Um, and that's your, your graph there. Um, there's just a couple things, uh, other things to review, and that's how to write the function. Uh, be familiar with your basic functions, uh, because you're gonna take your basic function and then change it according to what transformations happen. So this one's absolute value. So the original one, x, f of x is x with two lines around. It's absolute value of x. That's the original one. Right, it has a slope of 1, slope of negative 1 on the other side. Uh, not, not precise there. Um, but this one, our vertex has moved to the right 4. So that's going to make it x minus 4 inside our absolute value. Uh, and it didn't go up and down at all. Uh, that's fine. Uh, but it did flip over the x-axis, which means we got to put a negative in front of this. And that's it. That's our, that's our function. It didn't go up or down. Uh, it flipped over, so that's the negative part, and then the, the subtract 4 there it moves it right 4. So voila, we got our function. Um, 16, this is quadratic. So the basic form of a quadratic is f of x equals x squared. 
Uh, normally the vertex here is at zero, zero, and now it's at one, six. Uh, to go right one, you gotta do x minus one in parentheses squared. And then to go up six, you gotta do plus six. Uh, and then you gotta look at your slopes here. Normally the slopes are, all right, slopes goes up one, then up three, and then up uh, five, sorry, up one, up three, up five. Uh, and then it'd be up seven. Um, but this one, it's upside down, so we're gonna have to put a negative in front. And uh, it's not going down by one, and then down by three, and then down by five. Uh, it's actually going down by two, and then it went down by, uh, by six, and then it went down more. So it's actually going twice as fast. Uh, and so we're gonna put a two in front here. Uh, and now we have our function f of x is this guy negative two of x minus one squared plus six. And voila, there's your equation, there's your quick review on graphing functions.